Quote signal. Arcade. Smooth sailing. Reverse in parentheses. Hello everyone. Um, we'll be solving this reverse in parentheses question from Code Signal. I'll include the problem in the description below and let's begin. We write a function that reverses the characters in possibly nested parentheses. Okay, game. An input string. And the input strings will always have a matching friends. I did take a look at it a little bit ahead because I know that I don't want to be stuck. Um, these are some of the examples here below. Like for example, if it's just simply this bar been closed by parentheses, you return rab. So we return the string, you want to return it without those parens. That includes when it's nested. So here um, we can see that it's nested inside these words. It returns just the rab, the bar word reversed inside this word. Um, and here there's multiple times. We want to reverse it multiple times, but only for the words enclosed in the parentheses. For the words enclosed in nested parentheses, you reverse it one time um, in the first nested parentheses inside, then you expand out to the, the rest and expand whatever, you reverse whatever is inside these parentheses as well. And the, at all costs, there should not be any of these parens left. As a matter of fact, I think they specified an input, yes they did, that um, it's guaranteed that all these parens will be closed. So there's an opening one and a closed one, that's all guaranteed. There's no situation where one parens is missing from the other. All right. So let's begin. So I'm thinking um, how I would approach this one. My first thought is that we want to find first find first per find the last parens with this opening bracket because we want to start with the nested ones in first, um, so that it'll be the least complicated part of the word to reverse. Um, after that. We want to find the next parens after, oh, and we get this through an index. We'll call it last end. Oh, I'll call it, I'll call it first end because of the parentheses. And um, we want to find the next parens that looks like it closes it after the first end. And that will be the last end that we'll grab. After that, we reverse the string within first end and last end. And now we recreate input string with first part. And here, here's what I will think about. Um, first part is um, the word from beginning to first end. Um, the reverse string that we already decided from um, from steps one to three and the last part which is the word from last end to the end. All right and number five repeat steps one to four until there are no Parens left. So that's my game plan. So to do this, um, you first have to find the first end. I'll call it just you know, first equals, yeah, let's call it end so we know what we're looking for here. Uh, input string dot index equal last index of taking advantage of this last index of function from Java. And we can Specify we want specifically this one right here. Int last end equals input string dot index of. Now we want the index of the next parens after we find out where that first end is. And after that, um, now since we're repeating this process until there are no parens left, um, I'll create a while condition while first end that's not equal to negative one. And once it's done processing it, I think we could just return it as input string anyways, because we're going to keep modifying this input string just to keep you guys updated about that one. All right, and let's see here. Well, first end does not equal negative one. Um, okay, so we create a reverse string, and that's going to equal, and, it, and we have to go ahead and, um, yeah, here, I'm sticking. 
input string, dot substring, and the beginning index is the first end and the last index. Since that the reverse string doesn't want to include these parens, we'll just exclude it by simply doing plus one. And here, since substring doesn't include the character it's on, we could just leave it as last in. Now we want to have the first part, which is going to be just input string dot substring first in. No, oh, not first in. It's just this until yeah, it'll be from zero the beginning to first end string last equals input string that substring from last end plus one we don't need that parentheses until the end so we just leave it alone the way it is and we modify the input string right here it equals first plus rev string plus last all right and we want to update these counters to because the while condition depends on this um, on how many times to process it. All right. Now, if you run these tests, I think it should work. Ah! Hmm. Did I do it here? Did this fail? Oh. I see why. I need to reverse the string inside the parentheses, which I didn't do. Now, I don't think the string has any internal functions to do the reversing, so I'm gonna rely on string builder to handle this scenario. And what it does is that I could use a string builder and use initially the strings that are um, cut it off from, uh, I mean, the part that we're reversing, we'll just cut it off from the original string and reverse it and we want to return it as a string, not a string builder. And when we do that, it should reverse everything inside it. There you go. If I submit, it should work. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoy like my content, please like and subscribe. And I'll give you one trillion uh, face masks. So for the rest of your life, you're set and you will be disease free. No, just kidding. I'm sorry, guys. That was a very inappropriate joke. Uh, please like and subscribe. Please forgive me.